Have you guys seen what's going on with Ashley Elliott? Because if not, I'm gonna tell you about it. So first, if you don't know who Ashley Elliott is, she's a woman who went viral on TikTok for making videos of her doing her hair because she was in the military and you know how the military is. You can't have one little hair out of place. And so she used to make videos of her slicking her hair back with hair gel and doing her little military buns. Then when she, you know, garnered some notoriety on TikTok and she actually had a pretty loyal following, she created her own brand of hair gel and she started selling it and promoting it on her TikTok page. Her husband would actually star in some of her videos with her. They would make this little funny video because he's bald. So they would make this video where she would slap all this hair gel on top of his head and she would pretend to like style his hair. And it was really just like promotion for the hair gel that she was selling. It was cute little commercials. And she really started to gain more followers behind that because people thought they were a really cute couple. They continued to be one of the favorite couples on TikTok up until Ashley came to social media and she posted this video. So I have been working since I was 16 years old. And let me tell you the reason why I will never stop. Let me tell you what one of my biggest fears is. Just imagine this, imagine it, okay? You find a man, he's amazing, he's making great money, and he wants to take care of you for the rest of your life. And you decide, cool, I just get to be home, raise the kids, he's gonna be the hardworking man he is, and he's gonna take care of us. Now imagine, 20 years later, he finds somebody else that's younger, more beautiful, and he leaves you. And you don't have a job. You don't have any ways to financially support yourself. You no longer have your youth. And now you're alone. That would be one of my biggest fears. And I know some of y'all are married to some great men, okay? But I wouldn't put nothing past nobody somebody might tell you today hey i love you i love you i would never ever 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 do that to you but in five years 10 years 15 years people change and that's the reason i will never stop working for my own money and obviously after posting something like that accusations assumptions speculations started to fly people started doing their digging like they do and people realized that she recently hadn't been wearing her wedding ring and she had also deleted all the videos that had their husband in them off of her page so of course people were in the comments saying are you guys getting divorced are you guys separating like where are all the videos where's your wedding ring and she had come back to social media and made a video basically saying oh that video that i made was not my personal situation that's not what's going on in my marriage i was just saying that that is my biggest fear and to be honest the girls weren't buying it the girls weren't buying what she was selling they weren't they weren't having it they were like girl blink twice if you need help but at the end of the day the important part is that she never got on TikTok and said, yes, we are separating. Yes, we are getting divorced. Yes, this story is about me. She actually denied all of that. And she even came on here and said that the only reason she deleted all the videos of him off of her page was because he's a more private person and he expressed to her that he wasn't comfortable with all the attention he was getting. And so she was respecting his privacy and he wasn't gonna have to make TikToks with her anymore. And even though the girlies weren't trying to hear it because they did not believe it, you know, they said, smells like bullshit. We're also accepting the fact that like we can't just run around making up stories based off of our own assumptions if she says nothing's going on then nothing's going on and we just have to roll with that we rolled with it bitch up until another woman came on tiktok and made this video i don't have a lot of time to say what i want to say because i am currently evacuating for a hurricane but i do want to kind of touch on it first i want to say that i am not blasting this girl's business she is quite literally blasting herself and I'm not coming for her for crying on the internet because honestly, who hasn't? Because I sure as hell have. Being a mom is quite hard sometimes, but it's also the biggest blessing of your life. And I'm not about to see this girl do it all alone over something that she thinks is bigger than what it is. That's my opinion. I don't know what else is going on in their home. I don't know what side of the story he gave her, what he has said or not. And if she doesn't want to reach out, that's fine. I'm not the kind of woman that says, don't come at me as a woman. If you have a question, feel free to ask and I will decide if I want to answer or not. Now, while the first time she came at me was not crazy and I did respect it, I did get a little uh eh when I started seeing things like, I'm going to raise my daughter to be da 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 when all I have is daughters. And I posted that video because when she gave that scenario of a man taking care of his family and then leaving, it was very relatable for me. My man didn't leave me, but he does take care of his family. Hey, mama. <laughs> First of all, I want to make it very clear we did not meet up in person. 
Second of all, even though there was communication, um, I think there was a reason. I don't feel like this man is heard and now I feel like he's being slightly bashed on the internet. And she might not be wrong for this, she might have a whole different image of what's going on. I'm not saying what he did is right, everybody has different morals, but in my eyes, I saw it as something else that she probably doesn't see it as. What I saw was a man who was not hurt, and he wanted to be heard and understood. He did mention multiple times that he did try to communicate these things, but obviously they weren't heard if I see that it's still going on. He didn't have to say that. There was also many comments that would say the things that he was feeling because it was just very obvious. And while it did make the content good for y'all, if it feels emotionally or mentally exhausting for somebody, I would try to hear that out because that might lead to other things that you don't want. After hearing this video, would it be worth twirling your whole family? If he never did what you felt like in that scenario, leaving or cheating on you. My opinion, if he was lacking in other areas of the home and didn't want to make content, okay, then what the hell? But if he is there for the children, if he is there for you, then if this is something you find enjoyable, and even if it's not enjoyable for you, but if it's something you're good at, I understand he's your partner, but... Notice how my house is getting trashed right behind me in less than three minutes. I do wish their family well. It's hurricane season. I want her to know her man loves her. He made that very known. So, few things. Um, the crazy thing to me about you being a woman, having private conversations with another woman's husband, knowing he's another woman's husband, you know, um, isn't just the fact that you're having the private conversations with him. It's the fact that you got on here to defend the private conversations by saying, well, I'm a sex worker, so it's literally my job to respond to random men. And fair enough, fair enough. But if it's your job to respond to random men, then why don't you just do your job? Why are you online convincing yourself that your experience as a sex worker gives you the qualifications to perform the marriage counseling you seem to think they need? And also, do you happen to frequent the Atlanta area by any chance? Because I have a random man I could introduce you to because y'all have a lot in common in terms of being like the hit dog that will holler. Because it's amazing to me how people will not say y'all's name, will not post a picture of you, wouldn't, won't even acknowledge that y'all actually exist because the girl literally came up here and said that it was a made up story. Yet you felt like you needed to come on here and defend yourself. No, what you felt like you needed to do was come up here and get your 15 minutes of fame. Because as hard as you get on this app and try, you're not getting the attention that we can tell you so desperately crave. What blew my mind, oh my God, brain blast, bitch, what blew my mind even more was how you went on to say that like, well, if she doesn't want to reach out, that's fine, but she could have definitely reached out. Like, in what world does the wife reach out to the side bitch as a woman? In what world does that happen? See, because you're trying to make it come across like you have like this genuine concern for them in their marriage. Like, it's not what she thinks it is. Like, I just feel like he feels he's not being heard. For one, it says a lot that even though your name was not brought into it, your picture was not brought into it, like she didn't even acknowledge that you even existed because once again, she said it was a hypothetical situation. You still felt the need to expose yourself up here in defense of this man, but you're saying that it ain't what she thinks it is. One thing I can't stand is how y'all love to be trifling, but don't ever want to own the fact that you're trifling. Like, if you're going to be trifling, stand on that shit, okay? Because if you had genuine concern for this woman in her marriage, like you're trying to make it seem, you would have reached out to her because you've been following her for an extended period of time. It's giving, it's giving unusual obsession. You knew who this woman was. You knew who her husband was. You know what kind of conversations you have had with that woman's husband. And you know exactly why you felt the need to get up here and defend yourself, even though she never actually said anything directly to you. In my opinion, go crawl back in Ron's pocket, Rufus. You don't got to speak in part in this show.